the first feature I'd like to talk about is, um, well, let's talk about freedom. The freedom to play and create and know that DP has always got your back. I have a guide piano track here open, and I've got a MIDI keyboard under here. And let's just say I'm noodling. And let's just say in the course of my noodling, as I'm trying to come up with ideas, I played something that I think, oh my gosh, that was gold. That's exactly what I need. Well, but I wasn't in record. Did I lose it? As of 10.1, not anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a point in my sequence, anywhere I like, really. Let's just put the wiper at measure 7, and I'll go to the region menu and choose this new command called Retrospective MIDI Record. So right there is the MIDI that I just played, even though I wasn't in record. Now, if you play it free like I did, I just messed around on the keyboard, DP will tempo analyze and conform it to your sequence. But let's say this was a full band arrangement, maybe a traditional 4-4 four, four groove, and you were just jamming and riffing and stuff while in playback. Well, if you chose retrospective MIDI record after your playback take, DP would drop the MIDI that you played in its exact place that you played it into the track. So it's a really nice feature where, that frees you up for, to be able to think, to improvise, to groove, and not worry too much about what the technology is doing because DP is always listening to you, kind of like Alexa, but in a less creepy way, and in, actually, it's actually professionally useful.